the engineers use a language which uh, is referred to generally as Proto-Indo-European. Proto-Indo-European is the language which is hypothesized as being the ancestor of all Indo-European languages. Just as German is related to Dutch, Dutch related to the Scandinavian languages, all of those languages related to Celtic languages, all of which are related to Greek, Slavic languages, Indic languages of North India. They have to have had a common ancestor, otherwise you can't explain the fact that they are related one to the other. And this hypothesized ancestor is referred to as Pi, P-I-E, Proto-Indo-European. And Ridley was quite keen to make a connection between the language of the engineers and the oldest possible hypothesized speech. Vatra sunu sangena klut. Panos teva peratu adat. Krus teva apam litam usya kwe asyate pontane nesmo aya. This is an actual language. It's Indo-European ancient gobbledygook. <laughs> so, you know, I did have to learn it. So, but for me, it was, it was just a case of having Anil um, write it out for me, obviously, and then just sort of recording it, speaking it slowly, and then speaking at normal speed, and then just sort of, matter of sort of repeating it, repeating it, repeating it, and getting a flow on it. The one problem that I faced when I was trying to put together my own reconstruction for Ridley Scott was, did the language sound good? Was it pronounceable? Was it plausible? I gave a piece to Michael Fassbender for him to memorize, and apparently it took him about 16 hours. It's the length, roughly, of the Lord's Prayer. I only had it for the weekend, so I spent like 12 hours trying to learn this thing. That freaked me out. Actually, it was 17 hours I did on it. And I was like, God, I've got to get this whole paragraph off. And then I came in the next day, and it was just the first line I had to say. <laughs> I really wanted a longer text in order to see the full range of the language and also what it sounded like when it was put into sentences. What is the intonation? Does it flow? Is there pathos? Is there something which a speaker of English or a speaker of Spanish or French or German would actually connect with? And of course, Ridley asked me to choose a soliloquy which is very close to Ridley's heart. Egom vivas dat hya nahman veragnan, makyahu bhoruktai agna urnai gunacht orion, egom dadorshat hiliadut si beam erebe tanhauser asiat hira, tohtawa skale polmo ati crimstu plue, arta martuhu. I didn't quite suspect that Ridley's next comment would be, have you any objection to being the tutor on set and delivering what you've just delivered as a tutorial to an android? Action. Whilst this manner of articulation is present in the Indo-European descendants as a purely paralinguistic form, it is phonemic in the ancestral form dating back five millennia or more. Now let's attempt Schleicher's fable. 